Hey guys, what's going on? Ghost Dragon 1182 here, and we're playing Friday the 13th for the NES. Uh, and I've actually never played this game before. I have a vague recollection of it. Maybe one time when I was a kid, I rented it for a day or something like that, but I don't remember playing it at all. The fuck are those? Are those like Jason's mom or something? Navigation in the cabins is terrible. Okay, we have a lighter. It's unique, I'll say that. It doesn't seem like it's very hard. Oh. I'm fucking lost now. What is that, like, wah, wah noise? Oop. I will say the music when you're in the cabin is pretty cool. Creepy. There's nothing in these fucking cabins. Okay, I know NES games didn't generally hold your hand or anything like that, but Jesus Christ. Outside of lighting some torches, that's all I- or lighting some fireplaces, that's all I know that I gotta do. Uh, I'm assuming I gotta kill Jason, too. You know, it's kinda like, uh, Simon's Quest or, uh, The Adventure of Link. It just kinda throws you out there and you gotta figure it out. Um, if you're gonna make any real progress from the get- Oh, hey, there we go, we lit a fireplace. If you're gonna make any real progress from the get-go, you better hope you have a guide. Which I probably maybe should have looked up first just to get an idea of what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing, but yeah, where's the fun in that? This knife fucks them bitches up. Darker. Oh shit! Fuck off! They. Well, obviously I didn't beat him, but he ran away. If he comes back, I probably can't survive, so that would suck, but. So do I just like, do I have to find him and kill him? I have no idea what's going on in this game. Oh, there's a note. And I don't know how to take the note. I thought maybe you walked over it. Does a prompt come out? See, everything's like automatic. I would think that you just like walk near the note and it would pick itself up or something. I 
I'm hitting B and A, nothing's happening. I don't know. Man, oh, that was such a fill moment there. I'm hitting buttons, nothing's happening. I mean, at least this game's like, what, 30 fucking years old, so. And I have no instruction manual. Granted, I could have probably looked all this stuff up on the internet, like I said earlier, but part of the fun is the discovery. What the fuck is that countdown for? Hey, there we go. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, so <laughs> I accidentally bumped my sh right shoulder button, which is set up to be my start button, and it brought up the cursor to pick from the menu on the side, so I guess you hit start, and then you can fucking A. guess that makes sense. Usually you hit start to bring up a menu. Fuck, man. Well, at least now we can go get that note, but do I, do I want to switch with him, or... Oh shit, I got the rocket. I read the screen wrong. <laughs> okay, well, let's get the note, and then uh, we'll go switch with him again, get the knife back, or maybe we'll just use him. No. There we go. Go into one of the cabins by the lake. Alright. That fucking song is so good. I like that. Hopefully Jason doesn't show up, because that just fuck our world up right now. There's birds? What's that? That's pretty cool. Can you even regain health in this game, or what's the deal? Hey, we lit another fireplace. Cool. How was that noise? Why do I only have ten children left? Unless... I mean, it makes sense. Jason goes around and kills people on, on at the camp, and you gotta stop him before he kills everybody, but... He never killed children. It's kind of fucked up for an NES game. Despite the fact that I have no clue whatsoever what I'm fucking doing, the game does kind of have some kind of... It has, a, like, a little bit of a charm to it. I'll, I'll give it that. But, uh... If I'm going to play this again, I definitely need to, like, read a walkthrough or... Like a... Friday the 13th for Dummies thing because I have no fucking clue what I'm supposed to be doing or... Uh, how I'm supposed to be accomplishing... Anything in this game other than... Ah, oh shit, I got the rocks again. Other than, uh, lighting the fireplaces. Let's go get that knife back. I keep fucking up there because I'm used to, like... Having it on the bottom. Because, like, my inventory is on the bottom. It's 
It's just some quirky design choices that kind of mess with you a little bit. or countdown up at the top by my lives. Nothing in a lot of empty cabins. Nothing in them. reminiscent of Simon's Quest. It gets dark out and the enemies become more frequent. Navigation in the houses or the cabins is terrible. Oh my god, it's so bad. kids or what the fuck was that that was kind of creepy I lost a life how am I losing a life Not sure what this weapon is, but it kicks ass. Cool, we got another fireplace lit. Alright guys, at this point in the video, I kind of like, I don't know if I just like brain farted and didn't talk for the rest of it or what, but I had like absolutely nothing to say other than a couple fox here and there. Um, as I'm sure you've been able to notice, I have no fucking clue what the hell's going on in this game or what the hell I was supposed to be doing. 
Um, but what I eventually discovered is that the uh, is Jason is walking around the camp killing children for some reason, and the little heads at the top there with the blinking red circle next to it. Well, now it's not blinking anymore is the other counselors that you can pick from and he's also killing them and when that like little alarm goes off you're supposed to hit start and bring up your map and whatever cabin's blinking that's the cabin that Jason's in getting ready to either kill children or a counselor I didn't know this um, and essentially the what you're supposed to do is you have to light all these well you don't have to light all of them but you have to light an X amount of fireplaces so you can get a torch. So the hint at the beginning of the game is incorrect. You don't use a torch to light the fireplaces. You get a torch by lighting the fireplaces. And uh, you're supposed to get progressively stronger and stronger weapons until you can eventually defeat Jason. Uh, you will encounter him in cabins where uh, he is trying to kill counselors. And you have like this kind of like Mike Tyson's punch out type of thing going on where you can like sort of dodge his attacks and then you gotta like throw your weapon at him and stuff and you'll beat him temporarily now I'm not sure how to beat him permanently or anything like that um, and apparently there's a section where if you've seen I picked up a key a couple times where you get the key you go to a cave and you work your way through a series of caves or you work your way through the cave system and then you can uh, fight Jason's mother's floating disembodied head. Uh, it, yeah, the game's weird. And those dogs or wolves or whatever they are, insanely overpowered. <laughs> but uh, it's... Uh, well, you know what? I don't even want to say it's quirky. It's... I didn't hate it. I mean, it was kind of fun trying to figure out what to do. And the game does not hold your hand in any way, shape, or form whatsoever, but, uh... From everything I read and watched after I recorded this, it just doesn't, like, there's people that are like, I guess they can, like, speedrun the game in, like, ten minutes or something like that, and to those people, that's just fucking nuts. But, uh, I mean, I guess if you do it enough and you know what you're doing, then, yeah, it could be done, but... It seems to me there's some degree of RNG to it, waiting for the uh, uh, the key to drop. But I mean, it just doesn't seem like you have enough time to do anything like that you need to do to build up your weapon. And uh, apparently, if you switch counselors or if you die with the counselor you on, you're on, all the fireplaces you let go out. Which I'm not sure why that is. All in all, it's a game I'll probably play again just to see like how much progress I can make. Um, but everything feels very random in it. Uh, it. It just needed a little bit more polish, I guess, because it's not like a bad game by any stretch of the imagination. It's just... Uh, it kind of gives you the same hopelessness as the film. There's a lot... There's the characters would feel in the film. There's just like everything's working against you. Uh, to impede your progress and you never know where Jason's going to pop up or anything like that. So, I mean, it's neat in that aspect, but it's not... I wouldn't call it a, uh, a fantastic game by any stretch of the imagination. I don't... Uh, it kind of makes sense to me why I didn't hear a lot about this game when I was younger. Probably the appeal of it was uh, the younger crowd was like, oh, there's a Friday the 13th game for the Nintendo, I can I can see what all the fuss is about, and you know, things like that, you know what I mean? It kind of like that. Because, I mean, growing up in the 80s, uh, the Friday the 13th movies, they were kind of taboo for me, because not so much because of the violence, just because of like the, the nudity and stuff like that that was in the movies. Because, um, I, I mean, I'd watched worse movies in the 80s, like Predator and things like that, but... Uh, Pretty sure I wouldn't be able to have been able to convince my mom to let me watch a Friday the Thirteenth movie with uh, all the titties that it inevitably end up flopping about in the movie. So <laughs> it's uh, kind of one of those things. But I, I wanted to try it because I'm trying to get some different games played or 
get some videos made with games that are that kind of fit in with the uh, vibe of October and stuff like that. And I never played this, and I wanted to give it a shot. So, and there it is. But it, uh, I definitely maybe should have did some research first into it before I went into it blind. But uh, I think there's a little bit of a there's a little bit more of a charm going into a blind than there is just like not having a er doing like a really good run out of nowhere you know but uh and now all the counselors are dead except for the one that I'm using which she's close to being dead but at any rate if you have a means of playing this game it's worth checking out just once just to see what it is and what it's like it's not like I said it's not bad and I I didn't not have fun. I just, uh, I wasn't entirely frustrated. It was still kind of fun running around killing these zombies or whatever, but, uh, yeah, definitely grab a walkthrough before you give it a go. But at any rate, guys, I want to thank everybody for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. All right, have a good one.